year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. Proper Christian thing to do. I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the Priory later. Fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. Come to Kingsbridge. Well, hi there, and welcome to chapter one of the first book of The Pillars of the Earth, or Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth, which is a narrative driven adventure game. Uh, played through the prologue earlier, if you saw it. Um, didn't really end very, very well for. Tom the Builder with his wife dying in childbirth. Um, and if you've read the book, you know that, or seen the miniseries, you probably know that um, there are some rough things in store as well, still. Anyway, um, let's get on with it and see how Philip fares. Hopefully, <laughs> you know, it, it's hard to imagine he can do much worse. Righteous has regard for the life of his beast. I wonder where Paul is. fast. <laughs> I wish I could walk that fast. It was built for the glory of God, but I fear a priory this size might corrupt even a humble prior's heart. thing to do and fails to do it. For him, it is sin. Pay careful attention to care for the Church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. An hour no. is 
is coming when all who are in the tomb will hear ridiculous. his voice and come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. according to their own kinds, and God saw that it was good. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, the pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well, but the Lord says, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. Great timing. Philip, we told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John of the Forest, Philip? Our little cell is happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. Thanks to your brother, Francis, St. John in the Forest is prospering. His novices are obedient, his monks humble and pious. And our own priory is in such a sorry state. You know James did the best he could. It was not his fault. Also, they make a remarkable cheese in St. John's. <laughs> Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you?
afraid I already gave away my cheese. Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Disturbing? How did Prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remigius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh no. No. In the small hours of Christmas isn't all that Day, great, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him, and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Brother Marcus said he's taking a beating now once a week. I saw him crying yesterday. <laughs> I mean, that, that stride will never not be creepy. You look like you want to ask me something. You are Philip of Gwyneth? Yes, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? I already asked Brother Andrew. That doesn't count. He wouldn't answer. Of course it counts. He was angry with me. With both of us. We both had to say the Lord's Prayer. If you promise to lower your voices from now on. Oh, of course. We promise. Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. It must be a place. A cathedral. That's probably what the guest master was talking about. Each of us is God's temple in the way that he created us. And what, what if someone does something to God's temple? The scripture says, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. Even if he destroys his own temple of God? So for prior James, there's no salvation as well? Speaking. For a self-murderer, there is no salvation. What if the devil takes our souls too? Commit yourselves to God. Be humble and pious. Be without sin. God's grace will not allow the devil to lay hand on any of you. Prior James will face judgment. It is between him and God. Do not be afraid. No, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. So, uh, again, we're all God's temple. All of us. Mm. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. For a minute there, I thought it Troll Hut said Troll Hut. <laughs> uh, actually, the prior. Right. Well, I should probably go talk to the brother. Place has definitely seen better days.
Francis, you look troubled. You could always read me. Like a book, little brother. It's good to see you, Philip. King Henry is dead. I know. Word reached St. John shortly before I left. First the King, and now Prior James. The devil has come to Kingsbridge. What? Uh, just something I heard. Something foolish. And yet, these are dark times indeed. King Henry's death caused quite a commotion in the world of politics. There will be war. First of January, 1136. For many years, our late King Henry had been without an heir. His only legitimate son, as well as several other relatives, had drowned while crossing the English, English Channel one night in 1120. Finally, his daughter Maud gave birth to a boy. It was Henry's last wish that his infant grandson would continue his reign as Henry II once the boy, boy came of age. And until that day, his mother, the daughter of the king, would rule in his place. Despite being the rightful heir to the throne, Empress Maud is viewed unfavorably by most of our Norman overlords. The reason is Maud's marriage to Geoffrey, Geoffrey of Anjou. The county of Anjou and the Duchy of Normandy have been rivals for a long time. A rival, rivalry that now is about to come become a war taking place right here in England, for Maud's cousin Stephen of Blois has now crossed the channel from Normandy and taken the throne by force. Okay, no maps. If only we could stop the suffering. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something? We will find him. One more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the night. I wonder, Francis, how much of your work is related to our Lord? All of it. But Earl Robert is not a pious man. I try to guide him as best I can. But I cannot change what he has me writing or reading. The other monks had gone to the kitchen, as I recall. Philip! Brother Milius. Come, warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert.
Ah, wonderful. I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, and you'll keep warm. Oh? Ouch! Careful, they're hot. Nice and warm, and I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. <laughs> yeah, that's quite an achievement. Hard at work, as usual, Milius. I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day, we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip. We, on the other hand, had a week prior for 13 years. May the Lord rest his soul. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. That's pretty After harsh. the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right. Maybe we underestimate Remedius. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room, including the prior's ledgers. Regis says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death, except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the Priory's finances will be beyond saving. Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. I refuse. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. What? Okay. One day he started talking to the devil, as if they were standing side by side. That's quite a revelation. <laughs> he was bargaining with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. Sinned. We'll talk more later. If there's one man I don't need to preach to, it's Milius. What was that? Nothing. It's just... I thought I'd love for you to have more of a say around here. I'm just the Kitchener. And a friend. If you think I underestimate myself, then you do, too. Maybe that's why we get along so well. The glory of young men is their strength, but the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Matthew? Proverbs. I'm afraid I won't have much chance to improve my reading at my age. But I'll take your word for it. Proverbs it is. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. 
I, uh, I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. You are too trusting, Philip. <laughs> Has there been a knight to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. Brother Cuthbert, you seem worried. Prior James was a kind man, but the Priory is in a terrible state, Philip. Philip knows. He was just too kind to say anything. Yes, I know. I wanted to use my New Year's visit to talk with Prior James about these matters. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? Quite a charge. Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the sub more than once. Today I found something missing again. Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Praise the Lord. What kind of a priory is this? They don't even have beer. It looks like. Okay. Time to pay a visit to the cemetery, I reckon. Brother Arnaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves okay do not rebuke an older man but encourage him as you would a father what was that scripture brother Arnaldus what all is well do not mind me May his soul rest in peace. I do not think he is in there.
My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. Bloody heretics. Say, has there been a knight to Kingsbridge? A knight? A knight? Yes. He's here. Right here. Uh, do you know who he was? How did he die? Brother Paul found him. Where is Paul? Down at the bridge. Freezing his walnuts off, I reckon. <laughs> he talked to him. I only put him in the ground. Well, that complicates things. That's all I ever do. Do you have any idea what the knight was doing here? Probably tried to jump off the end of the world. Wh what do you mean? There is nothing here. Kingsbridge lies at the end of the road. Nobody comes here. Right. So there's a crack in the wall here somewhere. There we go. The novice said he hid the keys in here. They're here. I have them. This brother Marcus really did steal Cuthbert's keys. Better hand him back to brother Cuthbert then. This was the proper Christian thing to do. And brother Philip being a devout man. Getting cold. When will these novices learn to close the door? Cuthbert, I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I will think about it. Keep them until we know what to do, will you?
right. Brother Paul? Philip. Oh, ouch. Who could use a pair of shoes? What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chillblain. It will ease when the spring comes. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter for lack of food or shelter. Remigius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish. And those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remigius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. An asshole. Here, Paul. Oh. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> A hot stone! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a mercy, Philip. Thank you. Remedia should give you a fire, or not have you sit here at all. I don't really mind. Winter is bound to end sometime. Philip, if you ever run into trouble with Remedius, be careful to answer him. Do not stay silent. Silent? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. He becomes weak and defensive. It's not fitting for a sub-prior, let alone prior. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Oh, yeah. Yes. He was just lying by the road, just a mile away from the Priory. He must have fallen from his horse. Where is he now? He died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Uh, he could not speak. But the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him. Well, he died. Did the knight have anything with him? There was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. James insisted that all his books and documents should be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. Sometimes, I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here, Philip. Maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Have faith in the Lord, Brother Paul. You did well. Thank you, Philip. Actually, um, let's have, try and get some more advice about Remedius before we go. Before we show down. Brother Paul, a word. What did you say again about Remedius' weakness? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. It's not fitting for a sub prior. So you gave the knight's letter to Prior James? 
Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. Maybe it's better that way. After all that has happened... I have to leave, Brother Paul. Take care of yourself. It's getting colder, I think. Back to Kingsbridge. Hey, our horse got taken uh, to the Priory. I ask you not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. Brother Marcus stole Cuthbert's keys. Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Theft is something we cannot take lightly. <laughs> Why would Prior James walk out onto the river at night? He was chased. Chased? By whom? The accuser. But why would the devil be chasing him? Better to not get involved in all this, hmm? Don't you have your own Priory cell to run? You really believe the devil killed the prior? Some of the brothers do, and I respect their beliefs. You may never know what happened, and that's that. Now let me get back to my work. I would like to take a look at Prior James's documents. And why is that, Brother Philip? Well, our little cell has given much to the Mother House. I would like to ensure that all is accounted for. So you do not trust us, Philip, is that it? The state of this priory. The state of this priory is the concern of the Prior of Kingsbridge. I still would like to see the Prior's documents. They will be burned tonight. I heard about that. It was Prior James's last wish. I'm following his request. But the new Prior will be lost without the ledgers and contracts. After the election, I'll be the new Prior. For now, you are not. Only the chapter meeting can decide on these matters. Of course. Brother Andrew will surely understand why you would go against James's last request. <laughs> hmm. About the chapter meeting. Oh, 
talk to brother Andrew. He will be just as pleased as me to have you around. Now leave. Because, because God created us in his image. I should talk to Andrew Sacrist instead. That's why we it's can all the only way. We don't need to go to church for that. No, we are the temple. Yeah, but where the bloody hell is he? Thank you for your help. How could I not help you? You're my little brother. <laughs> I knew I could rely on you. To give a sermon here. On a holy day it could reach so many. I should talk to Andrew Sacrist instead. It's the only way. What can I do for you, Brother Philip? Prior James had a document I would like to see. It's probably amongst the things that Remigius is going to burn. Oh no! He's in the Prior's room. Maybe you can talk him out of it. You look like you have something important to do. I'll be here if you need me. We should go to Shiring sometime. Heard they have a big titted harlot there. One that would even do you. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> you sure are devout. No, not now. <laughs> Rotten edges. We used to eat them. Now, they're eating us. But why a church then? 
why cathedrals? Why do we create temples if we are the temple? Isn't it almost arrogant to try and build a greater temple? Don't say that. Is this locked? I'm stuck now because I can't find Andrew. Try the guest house, didn't we? What is it? Can you not see that I'm working? About the keys that were stolen by Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Be here if it weren't for the cathedral. It feeds us. We are people of God. Yet we need to eat too. We come together here. The pilgrims donate. So do the nobles. I see. A temple to feed the temple. Yes. We must take good care of us, and our cathedral. We must. God 
damn it. The flock uses holy water as if it could cure any illness. The scripture only mentions it as a means to find out if a woman lay with a man that is not her husband. But the water gives people hope and faith. Who could argue with that? blow it out, but I guess. Let's see what we can find. No reason to be afraid. It's not Nothing. Hard. These old cathedrals are bound to make strange sounds. Thought so. Nothing here. Even if it is Adolphus, we would have to welcome him. Hello? No. No one. Not a thing. Hello? that looks like a bird what is that it's the size of a child hello oh. yeah, I oh. be an, owl. an owl just an owl I will contemplate this later. The saint rests in peace. God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. That way I won't get Andrew to organize a chapter meeting. No, you won't. Where the devil is Andrew? Remigius told me to have Andrew arrange a chapter meeting. 
That's the only way to save ah. James's documents. Okay. Then that was a hope. bit misleading then. But Brother Andrew is stubborn. You'll have to be stubborn too when you talk to him. Or or not. Because I'll still have to find him now. Remigius suggested that I convince the Sacrists to organize a chapter meeting today. In order to save the books and legends. I knew you would do it, and you should. But when it comes to the cellar and my stores, I have all the numbers in my head. It's a shame to waste parchment and ink. Remigius told me that Brother Andrew might arrange a chapter meeting for me. He wasn't happy, but I can't just allow the Prior's possessions to be burned. I'd better not get involved. It would anger Remigius. those to the owl. Yeah, I don't think this probably shouldn't work, but um. well, I don't, really I don't see a whole lot of other choices. Andrew Sacrist instead. It's the only way. Where the bloody hell is he? Officially stuck. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Where are we 
you on the staircase and told me. That way I won't get Andrew to organize a chapter meeting. No, I'll stay down here. I'm not good with heights. Okay, but then where the bloody hell is Andrew? That way I won't get Andrew to organize a chapter meeting. Here, maybe? What do we uh -huh. have to ask ourselves uh -huh. is... <laughs> Finally! Can St. Adolphus Christ. still protect Kingsbridge in these dark times? He couldn't protect Prior James. Ever since that lightning struck the cathedral, he wasn't the same. When you take over my position as sacrist, you should implore the bishop to send us a new relic. By then, I'll be sub-prior. The new prior and I will support you in this. Yeah, that's what I get for not checking the map properly. A new relic might also attract more pilgrims. Philip of Gwyneth, I wanted to talk to you. How dare you disturb Brother Remedius Requiem? I'm... I'm afraid the choir is waiting for me. Stay, brother. There's no reason you shouldn't hear what Philip has to say for himself. I beg your forgiveness. I was overwhelmed when I heard Prior James passed. You should know better. Now, I'm sure at St. John's you're a good Prior, but here we adhere to the rules. You mentioned a new Prior. The election will be held in a few days when we all convene for the chapter meeting. We can't allow Prior James's books to be burned. That, Philip, was Prior James's wish. This priory is in debt. And without the ledgers and documents, that will never change. Besides, the wisdom in his books is priceless. It is not up to you to make decisions in this priory, Brother Philip. Do not domineer over those in your charge, but be an example to the flock. 1 Peter, Chapter 5 You are right. You shall argue your case in front of the brothers in a chapter meeting today. Thank you, Brother Andrew. When I'm done here, I will tell all the monks to come to the chapter house. Would it help if I went and told some of them? I feel free to do that. But I insist that the choir finishes practicing before we start. They're already behind schedule. You look like you want to say something. What is it? It was good talking to you, Milius. Good talking to you as well. 
There will be a chapter meeting today. You convinced Andrew? Miracles do happen. We will be there. You have our support. There will be a chapter meeting today. Excellent. I can't wait to see you and Remigius quarrel. Brother Cuthbert? <laughs> Do not worry. We are on your side. <laughs> A waste of time. Yeah, enough with the walking. Aside from that one, I mean that animation is that animation is just hilarious. <laughs> If only I could walk that fast. That would be nice. Okay, Brother Paul. There will be a chapter meeting soon. Ah, thank you for letting me know, Philip. Remember my advice about Remigius. I got it. Don't stay silent. Chapter meeting started faster. Brother Arnaldus. There's a chapter meeting today. Today, I'll be there. Wouldn't miss that. Waste of time. There will be a chapter meeting in a few minutes. Oh, yes, we will be there. Thank you for letting us know. something. He's right. Now stop it. Concentrate. You seem troubled, brother. They won't... They won't sing. It's Adolphus. There was nothing, believe me. I heard him crying in the crypt. I think I heard him too. No, you are mistaken. It sounded like a whip, like he was chastising himself. It's the end of days. <laughs> Brother Philip, please help me. Prove to them that there is nothing and no one down there. There is no need to worry, brothers. Adolphus is resting in peace. It was just an owl. I, I told you it was nothing. God bless you, Brother Philip. I knew I heard something. Now, be silent, concentrate, and... The sacrist agreed to a meeting, today. That way I might be able to get the letter you were looking for. Good thinking, Philip. I will attend, of course. Shouldn't that 
does it. finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. The chapter meeting is more important. Not sure what to use those nuts for, but... And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. So did you know him. <laughs> what are you trying... I say he knew him well. James was the one who asked Philip to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me. Is walking on thin ice wise? <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. He knows not what he is saying. No. Philip was very hesitant to talk about the state of this priory with me. Usually, he is as careful in his words as he is in his actions. Yes. Philip asked us a question. Was it wise to walk out onto the ice? God was testing Prior Jane. I say, the devil chased him! Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. If the Lord tested James, then he is testing all of us. I trust the Lord, so did James, and so should all of you. He was misguided when he walked onto the ice that night as he was misguided in his last wish. Whatever or whoever misguided him. Prior James will face judgment. It is between him and God. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes, he brought me a hot stone. That's our Philip. Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? I am here only to help this priory. Uh, this priory, of course. I say it is not a coincidence that he should make his voice heard now. Shortly after James's passing and before the elections. What are you saying, Brother Remigius? This is not about James. It is about him. He wants to be prior. No. I came here to talk to James. 
I think that is a wonderful idea. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Disagree with that? Well, yes, obviously. Uh, much. Excellent choice. What a matter of idiot. That surprised the great idea. idea. Philip. Snap. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Well, that's a Thank you for your kind hands. offer. <laughs> but we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remigius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. First of January, 1146. Our new King Stephen is supported by most of our Norman overlords and even by the church. His younger brother Henry is, of bishop, is Bishop of Winchester and one of the most important priests in all of England. He made Stephen swear an oath to reserve power to the church, which had little influence on political affairs under King, King Henry. A good day for the church and for us. Now, let us look for the letter. Francis, I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Robert of Gloucester. Name the day and we will be ready to shed blood in the name of Empress Maud. I and my bondsmen will ride against Stephen of Blois. We do not start the war, but we shall unleash it. Stephen himself started it, the day he betrayed King Henry's daughter and took her throne. He and those who swore loyalty to him. Bartholomew, Earl of Sharing. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. The Bishop of Kingsbridge? Why? Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? 
I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My Lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Yeah, okay. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shirey? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shirey finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? Well, I think that's it. Sorry for the slightly lengthy um, episode because I got stuck a little bit there trying to find Andrew. Um, but it certainly looks interesting. And it looks like it's pretty faithful from what I remember from the television show. And I still really enjoy the art style, even though some of the animations are a bit, are a bit funny. Um, like uh, <laughs> uh, Brother Philip Speedwalking. Um, yeah, that's pretty funny. Anyway, it, anyway, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the f coming chapters. Um, so, um, thanks for watching, and, um, take care. <laughs>